everyone. In this video, we are going to calculate univariate and multivariate skewness and kurtosis for the data that we have. Um, you would need your latent variable scores uh, from whichever analysis software you're using, whether it is SPSS or it's your smart PLS. I'm going to drop the links of the videos in which I have shown how you can calculate the latent variable scores in SPSS and Smart PLS. In this video, we are going to upload uh, the latent variable scores into this website. I'm also going to save this link in the description. You can reach this website to make the calculations. Now, if you look at this website, there's, an, uh, there's a button over here which says choose file. So I'm going to select a file where I have my uh, latent variable scores. Now, choose the file where you have your latent variable scores. This is my file where I have my latent variable scores. I'll just select this. I'll open it here. Now it's asking me what type of uh, data do you, do you have. It's not an SPSS data. I'm going to choose the file type. It's an Excel file. Uh, that's my file. And now it's asking me to use the whole data says leave the cell blank. If in case your latent variable scores are part of some other data, like you have your items score in the file, and then in certain columns you have your latent variable scores, then in that case you will have to give the column numbers in which you have your latent variables. If not, just leave it blank. All you need to do is just click on Calculate. Uh, it would take some time, it would process the data, and then it would give you the results. See, it's calculating. It would take some time. If it doesn't update in a while, you can refresh uh, uh, this, uh, this page. And uh, once you refresh, it would give you the calculations. I'm just trying it. Yep, here, here it is. My calculation is there. Now it's giving me the univariate kurtosis and skewness. And it's also giving me um, the multivariate skewness and kurtosis. Now, if you look at this table over here, for all my variables, it has calculated skewness and it has also calculated the kurtosis. Now, in terms of the skewness, there are certain variables which have more than one plus minus one skewness, this one over here and this one over here. And in terms of kurtosis, there's also one variable over here, which has more than one kurtosis. So it means there are two variables which are kurtotic or skewed. Now, in terms of Mardia's multivariate skewness, the null hypothesis is that the data is not skewed and the data is not kurtotic, but the p-value that is zero, it's saying that the null hypothesis is rejected. So it means uh, my data has multivariate skewness and it also has multivariate kurtosis. And um, we can paste this table that we have over here in our appendix of the research paper or we can just simply mention in one line that multivariate skewness and kurtosis was checked and the null hypothesis that the, there, is, uh, there is no skewness, multivariate skewness and multivariate kurtosis is rejected in this test. That's all what you need to report in your research paper. Uh, and that's all for this video. Um, thank you so much. Um, that, that's, we'll see you in another video. Bye for now.